everybody. Today we just purchased this short bus. It's a 2002 Chevy uh, 3500, 6.5 Detroit diesel, converted by Bluebird. It's got the wheelchair lift. Um, yeah, we, we're at the bus yard now. We're in Sussex, New Jersey. About, about an hour and 30 minutes out from our home. We're about to drive this home. We got it uh, temporary registered and insured. Uh, um, I don't know. So yeah, this is the beginning to a, a big adventure, I believe. I'll try to start it up again. Battery's dead. We're just jumping it with the booster cables. Okay. Okay, so this is our school bus. Uh, that last clip that we just saw was in September. It is now May. So I'll do some explaining as to why it took so long in a minute. But I guess first I'll just run through the specs of the vehicle. So, um, the chassis, it's a 2002 Chevy Express 3500 with the 6.5 diesel engine. The body is a uh, Bluebird. Uh, it was covered by Bluebird, sold for a 2004 model year. It's a five window, which is a really good size, I think, because um, if it's not too big, it gives us some interior room, and it fits into a parking spot well, which is a, a pretty big thing for us, uh, for our use case, which I will also get to in a moment. Um, it has the handicap, the wheelchair lift. That's very important for me. I really wanted that for a few reasons. Um, but mainly just because it's cool to have. Um, I'll pop the hood so we can see the diesel. Okay, so there's not much to see under here. It's pretty much just a van, but uh, it is a 6.5 Detroit diesel, and it makes 195 horsepower. I'm gonna shut that off just so we have some quiet. We bought it with 195,000 miles for $4,000. Here is this tag with some information on it. Uh, 12,000 pounds weight. And over here, uh, manufactured by Bluebird. It seats 12. It would originally seat 12 plus the wheelchair. So inside, we since the last clip, we stripped the interior. I wasn't really ready to do that yet, but um, this was a group project, uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 people. Um, uh, people I know, my friends, uh, uh, are involved in this. We split the cost and we're splitting, we're working on it together. It's like a big group thing for our senior year of high school. So we stripped the interior. The plan is to make this a hangout vehicle, so that it's uh, just one vehicle where we can hang out in and do road trips, ideally. and. Uh, eat lunch just just have a just have a hangout vehicle um, well, that was the whole purpose of this of getting a school bus for us uh, we had an idea one day um, during lunch in school we were like what if we instead of using the cafeteria just bought a bus and just ate in the bus and so that's what we've been doing for the past little while now it's been pretty fun every day uh, it's fun to just go outside to your school bus parked at school and just see your friends there but the plan. So, the plan we're thinking for this section. Uh, well, we're gonna have another seat there, facing this way, with a table in the middle. 
That'll be like a table area. Obviously, we have to move this back to have a little bit more leg room. But this will be the table area so we can like eat and do things um, with a table. Um, on this side, that's pretty much the extent of this side because we do have the lift. Uh, but on this side, I'm thinking we have a, a mini fridge there and some sort of counter on top. Um, that'll give us some, some more counter space and a place to store drinks or cold, cold whatever. Uh, there we may have a TV on like a vase arm so we can just, better, better TV than that. Um, so we can just maybe mount it to this beam. We have to figure that out. I haven't really thought about that yet because this needs a lot of work before we get to the TV. But, um, I'm thinking we mount it there and then we can just pull it out. Um, and then we can have like a little gaming area with, with a few like playstations hooked up to it or whatever. Um, for this area... I'm thinking this will be like a couch, so to say, uh, but we'll, we're going to have to build custom seating, probably with those 2 by 4s I'm not sure how that'll work yet, but my friend has an idea. Um, f I'm thinking uh, four-ish seats facing this way, so they'll be like, like this facing out. Um, this will just make it a little bit easier to have like a, a social, it's more social than this traditional school bus where it's just row, 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 row. Um, so that'll be the seating there and the seating here. Uh, we're thinking there are a few other areas back here that we might think, or we're thinking of having seating, maybe in this if there's space, or, uh, fold out over here. But the main idea for the back is just to have it as a storage place, and more of like a garage type thing. So we're gonna lay down this rubber flooring, because obviously we're not done with the vinyl. Um, because of the exposed wood and back there it's it's just all wood so we're gonna put the rubber flooring in the back and make that a garage type thing where we put uh heavy duty things so we can store or we can transport like a, a dirt bike or an engine or something else that won't ruin the floor um and that's where the lift comes in so the wheelchair lift uh, i'm planning or i'm hoping will be very useful for transporting heavy objects and like mechanical stuff and i've actually done that before i've tr i've uh, transported my engine with this lift. Um, <laughs> something I saw in a YouTube video one day, and I was like, huh, that's a really good idea. It was a, a bus yard that was just using one of their old buses with a wheelchair lift to transport the head of their engine, one of the engines that blew up. Um, yeah, that's pr that pretty much covers the plan uh, for this back area. Right now, so far, what we've done, we just have this temporarily, like, jerry-rig. This is, this battery is here temporarily for the PA, which, yes, we have, uh, PAP-112, just PA system, just to troll, because high school. So right here, we just have a TV and a few game consoles, so we can, um, <laughs> play games during school, uh, whenever we have, like, downtime or an open period or during lunch. And everyone else just walks walks by looking through the windows and is like, what is going on? Something else we did was lay this vinyl floor. Uh, the rubber flooring was li ripped out. I'm not sure what the benefit of that was, but it's a group project. So uh, you can't have everything your way. But we have this vinyl flooring. Uh, we didn't do a very good job laying it down because it's already coming up. But it looks good. It's nice. Um... The, it gets dirty easily, but that's just what you get. Um, I quite like the color and the, the style of it, so I think I, I'm happy with it, as opposed to the rubber that are, comes with the bus. And in the back right now is just a bunch of stuff for storage. The wood will hopefully be used to construct some more seating, and there's just some tools and blackberries. That's something else. And just other things that will help us uh, finish this project, or get, at least get it moving, because it's been a long time. Uh, that's pretty much everything we've done in this interior, except for the electrical panel, which we're, we're working on sorting out and figuring out what goes where. Um, that's why it's open at the moment. So as far as what we've done on the outside, uh, pretty much we just did everything we could to make it legal, or everything we had to do. So we removed the district markings uh, from the side where it had the previous district's name and the town in New Jersey. Uh, we painted the grill and the Chevy badge. That's just a temporary thing. Eventually, we'll probably get a new Chevy badge because it does, doesn't look that good, but uh, I kind of like it. It looks good for now. We removed the school bus uh, marking on the top, and we got Vermont license plates. So that's one of the reasons this took so long to get off the ground. 
um, because we had there's a special way to register a school bus to actually drive it on the road. The best way is you have to go through the Vermont DMV because they are the most relaxed about the rules and regulations about it. Um, so that's what we did. It was a pain because you have to do it through mail, and mail is slow. But we got it done eventually. Um, we did get it towed in the meantime, though. So that's pretty much our plan and what we're going to do. We're going to do a few other things besides uh, what I mentioned, uh, like speakers and radio upgrades. But apart from that, that's the general overview of, of our plan for this vehicle and the purpose. Basically, just a funny way to go out in high school. So that's, that's pretty much all there is. I guess um, one thing is that I'm really happy with this bus. This is pretty much my dream spec. The, we got the classic uh, Chevy styling and the classic Bluebird styling, but it looks really nice. Um, we have air conditioning in the rear. So we have air conditioning in the back. We have the wheelchair lift on the other side, and it's a five window, so it's the perfect size. And so I'm really happy with all of that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I will try to document as much as I can, but it's difficult when progress is slow. Um, but there are a few videos coming up. Uh, the first time we brought this to school was a, a bit of, of a fiasco, but uh, yeah, so I guess stay tuned for more videos and more bus content. And this is MTP, and we're out. Peace. How you doing, Brian? I'm good. <laughs>